Hi, I'm Marin. I'm a gear editor here at Outside, and today we're going to talk about breaking in your hiking boots. Breaking in your boots means breaking in your feet as well. Most of the time, you won't need to break in your boots very much at all, unless they're this old school leather kind of boot. Most newer sneaker-like mesh boots don't take very much to break in, maybe a few short walks. Basically, the stiffer your boot is, the longer it will last, but the longer it will take to break in. Just wearing your boots around the house won't really cut it for either type of boot. You should be wearing it on varied terrain, different kinds of slopes, and with weight on your back if at all possible, because those will all make the boots feel different. So just wearing them on flat surfaces all the time isn't really gonna break them in at all. You don't wanna buy your boots right before you go on your trip. You're gonna need about two to four weeks to break in your boots ahead of a big backpacking trip. And during that time, you're gonna to wanna to hike on varied types of terrain and work up to about two thirds of the mileage you'll be doing on a day on the trail. So if you're planning on hiking 10 to 15 miles, you should be hiking eight miles to break in your boots. If you've broken in your boots and your feet are still hurting, that means that you need to break in your feet as well. This means building up calluses without getting any blisters. Wearing thin socks can help you develop calluses faster. Also, you're gonna to wanna to dial in the whole system for your shoe, which includes your socks, your lace tightness, and any powders or anti-chafing rubs. One final tip, walk in them wet. This means walk out in a rainstorm or get them wet under the sink and then go for a hike. Walking in them wet will help you prepare for how they're going to stretch or constrict, depending on the fabric type, under adverse conditions. If you didn't get a chance to break in your boots ahead of the trip, don't worry too much. Most boots these days are this mesh sneakery type and they don't require that much break in, but on the trail you will want to be more aware of hot spots and have a beefier blister kit, just in case. Happy hiking!